so in our study, we have been able to systematically map immune responses to COVID-19, identifying how antibodies develop in response to SARS-CoV-2, and gaining insights into why some people develop severe disease. We looked at all facets of the immune system, 184 immune features, and identified that multiple arms of the immune system are involved in the response. We investigated the blood samples of 85 patients who experienced mild, moderate, and severe COVID-19 disease. Some of them were hospitalized. We explored the innate, adaptive, and humoral immune responses, as well as inflammation. So this map provides important insight into predictors of severe disease and new treatments for COVID-19. Our study also provides the first evidence that during the acute disease, activation of a type of immune cells called T follicular helper T cells can predict the subsequent antibody levels, including neutralizing antibodies, a crucial feature for important for virus clearance and protection from infection. Understanding immune predictors of what leads to the development of high levels of antibodies is highly relevant to developing new vaccines and treatment for COVID-19. So in summary, we have described the hallmarks of the ideal immune responses that could potentially be elicited with eff effective vaccines mimicking the natural immune response to the infection. Thank you. Can you please explain how this could lead to a better vaccine? So now we have the knowledge of effective immune responses in um, people that have mild and moderate disease. Uh, so we know which immune responses lead to rapid recovery from COVID-19. Um, our, our work can uh, firstly evaluate new vaccine candidates um, to understand whether we're eliciting the same immune responses um, and in this way um, help develop effective um, vaccines. How similar is this immune response to the immune response for influenza? In, in patients with mild and moderate COVID-19, we found um, prototypical immune responses that we found in um, patients infected with influenza um, previously. Um, however, in severe COVID-19, we do see those um, immune perturbation across um, different cell types and uh, heightened inflammation. Um, and we have not observed that for influenza before. Um, I've heard that you've had a head start on this research. Can you explain how that came about? So we've been, um, we've been interested in studying immune responses to emerging and re-emerging viruses over the last decades in my lab. Um, so in 2014, we established a cohort in collaboration um, with the Alfred Hospital in which um, we um, received um, were able to receive the blood samples from patients infected with respiratory um, infections, including influenza, which was what we were obviously um, interested in. Um, so when um, the outbreak of COVID-19 emerged, uh, we've utilized our previously established DZ cohort, as well as the Doherty-based um, platform led by um, um, Dr. Tevarajan Setrep. Um, so we could start this research straight away at the beginning of uh, February. Um, and how do you think your research will impact on vaccine development, particularly in light of emerging mutant strains? We found that immune cells called T follicular helper cells early on um, can predict um, the levels of antibodies, including neutralizing antibodies. Um, so um, we, we, we think that our research will help evaluating of um, the vaccines and including T follicular helper cells as one of the uh, predictors of um, good antibody responses elicited by the vaccine. Um, and how has the uh, medical world reacted to your research? Um, 
well, our, our study was um, really well received. Um, and uh, we're hoping that others will follow up on our findings. We and others previously looked at um, particular immune responses. However, here we, um, we assessed 184 features and look at the complex map all together in one study. Could this help with any other viruses? Yes, so really understanding how human immune system works um, in um, fighting newly emerged viruses, especially respiratory viruses, um, can be applicable um, to other um, respiratory infections. The way I see viral infection and uh, us recovering uh, from um, COVID-19, it, it is a race between our immune response to the virus uh, and the virus. So if we have a head start, some level of immunity, we are winning the race. Um, if we get vaccinated, we do establish some, at least some level of immunity. We convert our naive immune responses um, to immunological memory. And any immunity is far better than being naive to the virus.